This video is brought to you by Manscaped. More on them at the end of the video. So Anthony, NHL Network put out their list of the top 10 goalies right now. And the key word always is right now. Sometimes there's a lot of disagreements on a lot of things. So here's the list. Two of them in the top five are from the, the New York teams. Ilya Sorokin at number five, Igor Sisterkin at number two. Give me your thoughts on the top five. Well, I think what what's happening here with this top five is that uh, Ilya Sorokin and Igor Shosturkin were basically not not punished, but I think I think it was critiqued on being that they both only had one elite year so far, so they were they were ranked a little lower. In my opinion, Shosturkin should have been one. Sorokin should have been second. Um, but again, because obviously Vasilevsky has been, you know, one of the best or elite goaltending for the last four or five years, they still ranked him one, being that, you know, this was Shesterkin's first year where he really outperformed everybody. And and same thing, and same thing with Sorokin. You know, Mark, um, Ely Sorokin had a better goals against average and save percentage than Andre Andre Vasilevsky, who's ranked number one and shutouts. He had a better GAA and save percentage and more shutouts than UC Saros, who was three. And he had a better save percentage than Jacob Markstrom, who was fourth. Um, you know, so the logic in that, I mean, how, how do you put UC Saros ahead of him when Sorokin, you know, mopped the floor with him in all three of those categories? And Nashville was a much better team. Um, I mean, hell, even Tampa, like, again, better numbers than Vasilevsky. And Tampa is a much better team than New York Islanders. Uh so, in my opinion, uh, you know, Shesterkin and Sorokin should have been one and two for sure. Um, you know, playoffs, I know it's based on pretty much the regular season, but Markstrom was not good in the playoffs. He did lead the league in shutouts, um, but I don't know how about having him at four, especially at his age. He's a little older. Um, so, yeah, I mean, overall, I'm like, listen, you're not going to you're not going to lose sleep over over it, but uh you know, I, w- I would have had Chesterkin at one and Sorokin at two. So um, the rest of the list, I think I think Ettinger is a little a little low. And again, again, you know, it's his first year. So I think they're giving a lot of the other veterans a little more credit and ranking him ranking him below them. But I think Ettinger should be higher. Um, and I mean, Flurry at 10. I mean, it is what it is. He, you know, at his age, he's still performing well. But uh, yeah, overall, I, I just think Chesterkin and Sorokin should have been one and two. You're actually a lot more critical of this list than I am. And you hit one nail on the head. If you look at the body of work, that's why I think they're where they are. I would, I would put Sisterkin number one right now. If you use the words right now, Sisterkin is the best goalie in the league right now. And well, that- you look at the numbers Sorokin put up on a team that didn't make the playoffs. You could make the argument for number two right now. By the way, Anthony, my light is going off right now, so I hope that means the Mets are doing very well. <laughs> um, but the um, the th- but if you go from the body of work, Markstrom ends up beating out Sorokin. Soros ends up beating out Markstrom. Sisterkin is the reigning Vesna Trophy winner with one of the most uh, historic seasons in NHL history right now. And Vasilevsky had the playoff run. I mean, Vasilevsky was very good against the Rangers in the playoffs. And that's where you could just say, but I mean, but he wasn't great. He wasn't like phenomenal. I thought if, if Tampa won the Stanley cup this year, uh, Andre Palat might have a chance at the con Smythe or Kucherov even, but they didn't. So there there was no need to worry about that. Um, And, uh, and Kel McCarr, look, Kel McCarr, I just to say this, by the way, he deserved the con Smythe this year. So, he did win the Conn Smythe, right? I'm, I'm not. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> okay, good. As I'm saying it, I'm going, I'm going yeah. wait a minute. I, don't, I think I might have got that wrong. There is so much room for improvement on all these goalies on this list. And that's what I love about this list, because you could easily rank both those guys one and two next year. And a matter of fact, there's going to th- th- you're going to get to the second part of the question. You started to allude to it, but uh, I'll get to that in one second. There's just, I would not be surprised though. It's Sterkin number one next year or Sorokin number one. Cause a lot of people are trying to say Sorokin for the Vesna trophy this year. Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised. Well, Markstrom, he still has that Daryl Sutter team in front of him. 
I wouldn't be surprised about that. And Soros, you looked at what Nashville is without Soros. They weren't very good in the playoffs. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I, I think realistically, um, you know, any of these guys in the top five could could win the Vesna. But, I mean, you know, we could be in a situation. And don't get me wrong, Vasilevsky is still very much in the mix. But you, we could be coming down the pike here where, you know, Sorokin and, and um, Shesterkin kind of just battle out for the Vesna every year. Um, mm-hmm. They're both they're both young and they're both that good, so that 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 certainly could be on the horizon for sure. And they're both athletic, and they're both they, there's only a couple things I worry about, and that's injuries, and um, really how how, how much their workload is going to be, because they try to keep everybody to about sixty games right now. Yeah, like sixty games is considered to be an Iron Man, and not not so much. I mean, ten years ago. Henry Glunk was played, I think, 72 games. So it's, uh, it's, it's, you, you, you got to see what their backups are going to do. But that's, that's a different story. Anthony, let's go to some of these guys. Now, by the way, I never flashed the sign of did the NHL network get it right. But out of the top five, mm-hmm. outside the top five, as you said, mm-hmm. which goalies do you see moving up next year? Uh, Ettinger for sure. Um, and maybe Demko, uh, Anderson, yeah, Demko's uh, I don't see Anderson, Flurry, Hellebuck. I think and Ettinger and Demko would be the bit just because they're aged, they're both younger, so I think that's the easy answer. And they're coming into their own. I mean, yeah, I have, I, I do not apologize for holding the torch saying the Vancouver Canucks are going to be dangerous next year under Bruce Boudreaux, and Thatcher Demko is one of those reasons why. Uh, we've covered it. I think it was back in um, maybe January in one of our bar talks. I was like, Thatcher Demko has proven that he's a franchise goalie. I yeah. think he is. And we'll see more about that soon enough. But, hey, what do you guys think? Who's the top goalie in the NHL? Should it have been Igor Sesterkin? I got a poll question going right now. Who is the best goalie in the NHL? So far, UC Soros at number three, getting no love. And Igor Sesterkin right now leading in the votes. Islander fans, you want to throw – Sorokin on that list. I'm going to leave that open through the end of bar talk for you. So, guys, girls love a man that's well-groomed. So check out Manscaped and their family of products. They have you covered from head to toe, from the lawnmower to the weed whacker, because you don't want to look like a fuzzball. Go to manscaped.com, put in promo code BAH for Big Apple Hockey to get 20% off and free shipping. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.